hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching today I will be making some Dollar Tree personalized ornaments and you don't need a Cricut for these so I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do please give it a thumbs up and now let's craft starting with my first project I will be using one of the Dollar Tree wood slices and some Dollar Tree vinyl now I'm going to make a little tree I'm going to trace this one right here that I got from the Dollar Tree. This one at the top had a start, but I did cut it off. Once I am done tracing this, I am going to cut it. I'm going to transfer the tree to the wood slice, and I'm using this as a sticker. I didn't use the transfer sheet. Now at the bottom, I'm going to add family galvis but for the family i'm using this dollar tree stencil and for the galvis i will be using these transfer sticker letters that i got from the dollar tree now i was going to use the transfer stickers to put just family galvis but i didn't have enough letters so that's why i had to use my stencil And this is how it looks. Honestly, I didn't like how the M and the A were and the Y. So I did connect them and I liked how that turned better. It bleed a little bit, so I just used a small paintbrush to fix that up. One thing I should have done first is add the family Galvis and then did the tree because I did it with the tree first, then family Galvis, and I barely had enough for the Galvis at the bottom. To decorate this some more, I'm going to add some greenery and some berries. Now this greenery I already had, but Dollar Tree carries so much Christmas picks that you can use. Now I'm going to add this at the top of the tree, making a bow using the Dollar Tree Buffalo Check Ribbon and adding it to the center. So these Dollar Tree wood slices already come with a hanger. I removed it because I used this for something else and then I am using it again to make this Dollar Tree ornament but that is it look how beautiful this personalized ornament turned out now this is also great to give as a gift next project I'm going to use one of these 12 inch wood piece that I got from the Dollar Tree now I'm going to make four ornaments out of this so I'm going to measure it and then cut it each little piece is of three inches I have four people in my family that's why I cut this into four but if you have three you can make the ornament a little bigger now if you have more than four I think you need two pieces to make these because if not, they are going to be tiny. Now I'm going to make a hole at the top of each little wood piece. They kind of remind me of Jenga blocks. And this is how they look. Now I'm going to use these Dollar Tree stickers to add the names on the side. Now, I got lucky enough that the names of each of my family members actually fitted in each little block. Once I was done adding the names, I then painted this using the Waverly Antique Wax. I am doing the reversible stencil. After this was dry, I removed the stickers and look how beautiful this is. 
Now I'm going to add the string before I decorate this a little more using some Dollar Tree greenery or actually this is not from Dollar Tree this is from Walmart but Dollar Tree does carry greenery that you can cut off and just add a little piece with a bow at the top and look how beautiful these turned out these were so easy and so inexpensive to make For my next project, I'm going to personalize these ornaments. Now, I got these from the Dollar Tree. I am going to add our initials to these. Now, I'm using the Dollar Tree iron on vinyl, which honestly, it's very easy to use and you don't need a Cricut or an easy press for this. So the first thing you're going to do is I thought I was going to like flip this around and draw the image I wanted to cut out but no you need to do it on the other side because it's like when you cut it in Cricut it has to be like mirror so hopefully it made sense but um, I am going to trace it on the shiny part and for the letters I'm using these Dollar Tree sticker sheets that I got from the Dollar Tree I'm going to just place it on top and trace it. This is what I'm saying that I thought I had to do it on the other side so it can mirror, but no, I need it on the other side. This is where I was like, wait a minute. I needed to flip it around to make it on the other side because I'm going to cut it. For this part, you do need a pen because I tried with a pencil, but because it had was plastic, it you couldn't really see it. Now you can also use a marker. This is not gonna transfer to your stuff because you are transferring what's behind it. So I'm using this parchment paper and then I'm using my iron, which I put into cotton now I did mess up the first one because I left it on there longer than I was supposed to. So that's why I messed it up. But I do recommend you leaving it for like 30 seconds only. And that is it guys. That is it for these beautiful personalized ornaments now i didn't add anything else because this ornament already comes all decorated and everything For my next ornament, I will be using these wood slices that I got from the Dollar Tree. Three come in a pack. Now, I wasn't sure what to add to these since I had already added the names, the initials to the previous ones. So instead, I decided to just add like random things to these. On one of them, I cover the entire thing using this Dollar Tree vinyl. And then on the other one, I made a tree 
And on the last one, I made an ornament. You can definitely make other images with these and just use the Bino a sticker and add it to that. Now these ornaments came with strings, so I added the string. Then I decorated the ornaments just a tiny bit more by adding some greenery and a bow. And that is it. Look how cute these ornaments turned out. And that is it guys i really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite so thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and until next time bye